guys, welcome to Apex Farmers Market. It's uh, Saturday morning, bright and early. So we're headed to the Apex Farmers Market and we had originally had 10 to 2 on the schedule and then we got an email yesterday saying, hey, just want to make sure. Are uh, looking forward to having you. Please be set up by 7.30. And I was like, You're, wait, what? So we reached out and there were no emails saying we had to be there at 7.30. The market apparently is open from 8.30 to 12.30. Um, but all of our con communication had been through the Farmers Market food truck rally, which had 10 to 2 and ended up the uh, manager um, said that she did forget to send me the email with the hour she sent everybody but us. And so, you know, to be there at 7.30, this is a three and a half, three, sometimes four hour process to get this ready um, to serve. And that's a three, four a.m. wake up. And I hadn't, wasn't prepared for that. Um, and so I just said, you know, like, that's pushing it for us and so we compromised and market opens at 8 30 we'll be ready to serve at 9 and so um, we're getting it ready um, I've been I got up super early this morning and now we're just getting the truck loaded up I'm gonna head to the farmers market it's gonna be like 78 it's kind of cool right now but um, amazing weather um, looking forward to it so we're gonna get this bad boy loaded up and then we're gonna go serve my hometown crowd, downtown Apex. Per usual, we are um, running slightly behind schedule. Um, we're set to open at 9, and I don't know, for some reason I was thinking we just had to be there at 9. Um, and we would open at like 10 or something. So um, we've got like 25 minutes till we open, and we still have to get the downtown APAC. So um, time to rock and roll. We're rushing to get to downtown APAC. Uh, and whenever like you're in a rush, you always get behind like people driving super slow or you hit every stoplight or traffic super bad. Um, but that's just how it happens, I guess. But so yeah, we're headed to downtown Apex. Um, weather's feels amazing outside right now. So I don't know that we'll be as busy as the food truck rally rodeo. Um, but we should be pretty busy. I mean, it's downtown Apex, farmer's market, a little hustle and bustle. So, looking forward to stuff falling all over. Um, just looking forward to another great day on the purple truck. probably make it work like we did last time. Um, I mean, you can probably just stop right here. Just go yeah, straight. I'm gonna just go straight. Yeah, I would just stay right here, honestly. Yep. And she 
said they had quartz. I'll plug in if they've got the right power, but if not, we're running a generator. She told me to because it would be after the time we were getting here. So, anyways, now it's time to get set up. all day for buoy boats to get here, especially being right next door. Uh, I was watching the clock, waiting for them to pull up. They're my favorite. Love seeing them out here in Apex. And uh, they always take care of everybody. So we have prom tonight, so you know we had to come and get our buoy bowls. We love buoy bowls. I'm Diane with Pillar Toffee. I'm selling my toffee here at the Apex Farmer's Market. And I'm also enjoying the market with an acai bowl from buoy bowls. It's fantastic. They usually have a huge crowd here, still do. The line's backed up for a, about a block, it seems. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. I'm thankful to Boy Bowls because last year, this time, one of my biggest customers, it turned out to be, came here for Boy Bowls, specifically to get one of these. And she ended up buying my toffee for a corporate account. And I'm thankful for them, and I'm thankful to everyone who supports Killer Toffee and the Apex Farmers Market. Thank you very much. God bless people! So it's 12:30. Market is closed, but Blue Bowls is still slam trying to get these tickets done and out. Um, so super super busy day. Um, Kinda as expected, but um, we still got a lot left. Hey, Omar Solomon here. Here representing that Boogie Bowl at the farmer's market, you know. My favorite meal of the day. Shout out my mom, you know, she's the one feeding me every day. I gotta make some money for the family. Maybe bring some Boogie Bowl back to her one day. Yeah man, alright, my name is John Michael. Um, this is the first time ever having Boogie Bowls and I'm uh, taking a big step today, you know. A lot of people say that ten dollars is too expensive for uh, just a cup of like, yogurt and uh, a lot of things, but you know they don't see the, the effort and the heart that goes into each each little delicious bite. Hey, shout out John Sc Scott, shout out Zach O'Brien, we love you, man. sudden the line was all the way across um, the parking lot and they stayed that way for the rest of the time. Um, a lot of new faces, super exciting. Um, just a great day, the weather's perfect. Um, it's a great day to have an acai bowl, to die bowl smoothie. So, um, yeah, it was super busy. Um, a bit kind of busier than I thought just because it wasn't like the food truck rally, but man, it was wide open. So, um, Love being in downtown Apex. Love being in Apex where I was born and raised. Super appreciative. Um, a lot of new people. Um, this isn't like bitching, but 
new people don't know what to expect with an acai bowl. And so when you have, you know, we're doing over 100 bowls an hour. Um, and so sometimes they come and ask about their bowl. Um, but we've got a sign that says, you know, we appreciate your patience. We make it to one first to order. So busy, busy day. So um, clean it up, get some sleep, do it all again tomorrow. Super busy day here at the Apex Farmers Market. Uh, started super slow, not super slow, but kind of slow because we were here at 9 a.m., which is not our normal open time. Um, and then they were trickling in, and by 10, it was full blown line across the parking lot, and it stayed that way for until 12:30 something when we stopped taking orders. Um, and we were still doing tickets, you know, 25, 30 minutes after. We closed, super, super busy. A lot of people, a lot of new faces. Um, I think we had three people ask if this was a franchise, um, <laughs> which is um, not yet. So, but you know, the weather's perfect. You know, it's like 50 this morning, but now it's up to 80, 70, high 70s or whatever. So it's just perfect acai bowl weather. I love being in downtown Apex. I was born and raised in Apex. So it's always, it's cool that to come down here and see like, the hustle and bustle of downtown because that's not what this place used to be like all those buildings used to be like abandoned when i was growing up um but a good day man just busy 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 um had everybody on the truck rocking and rolling uh, casey and kylie at the window running that Alyssa crushing the toppings and me back here and so um you know i started flirting with the idea of having two people blending and then maybe if we can get a bigger sandwich refrigerator two people topping um, it's good it's gonna be difficult but I think if I have just one person consistently loading jars me blending that that'll cut down a little time so I am looking for ways to make this go quicker but it's a process where we make every single bowl fresh to order several customers and usually it's the new new people, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, but they're not used to what an acai bowl, like we're not your normal food truck that has prep food and we, you know, we make it fresh to order. And so when we're, when we have, you know, we, that many tickets, we're doing well over a hundred bowls an hour. It takes time to make each one fresh to order. Um, so I am looking for ways to cut that down, but when you get a line 50, 60 deep that stays that way it, there's going to be a wait time it's like cousins main lobster when they first came around like at all the rodeos the line was down the street and 45 minutes to an hour wait and we're a high volume truck and so that takes time and so super appreciative of everybody that came out today um your support means the world to us your patience um we just love seeing the community come together smiling having fun so it's another great day on the truck and so now from here we're actually going to go look at a commissary location that um i'm hoping we can move into like tomorrow would be amazing um but non-stop man it's just grind 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 get it done um so super uh thank you for the apex farmers market for having us out great event um look forward to coming back so we're going to keep getting it back parking the truck get it broke down um, and get it geared up for tomorrow super fun day um, I love this weather it's like that summer's coming but it's not like it's not super humid um, but it is um, it's getting warm and we had a long line of people and several people were ordering waters and we don't charge for water um we don't i'm kind of advertising it now but we don't say hey free water but if someone asks for a bottle of water we don't charge them for it but super long line sun was out and so had casey 
load up some buckets and we just walked down the line and gave out water uh, to our customers that were waiting. Um, just a small thing like that, you know, like I think it goes a long way. Um, it's $3 for a case of water. No need to sell them for a dollar each. So, um, but yeah, man, great day. So, I'm super appreciative of everybody that's given us your attention here and your support of the purple truck. Uh, we're gonna shut this thing down. Then we're going to um, we're gonna head to look at a potential spot to move in. We uh, we have a friend that came with us from the Apex Farmers Market. Um, to pink elephant so if your child lost a pink elephant we got them on the truck so um yeah we're gonna wrap it up uh good day it's just a good day you know had to get up super early uh to get it done uh kind of met in the middle with apex farmers market because there was a lack of communication missed emails um that weren't sent to us um so we met in the middle and it was a great day. Uh, a lot of local vendors. There was a seafood vendor that I want to link up with, but a lot of local vendors out there. And, you know, we're local, so I believe in supporting local. And everybody should support and shop local. So we're going to get out of here and go see if we can't find a new home for buoy bowls, like a headquarters, office, warehouse, commissary. So thanks, guys. Got one there, but the good thing. Fucking that gate right there. Oh. So yeah, there's people right now. But the good thing is, it's got a gate. Definitely not where I thought this was located. I thought it was on the back side of downtown Cary. Um, But it's not, I mean, from my house, it's not that far. But then you got Restaurant Depot right there. And then 40, you know, so that makes it super convenient to travel, you know, to RTP. It's a good central location. And the price is right, too. Um, and I don't need, I need the space in the back. I don't need this office, but obviously we would make it work. Um, I want to break down that wall um, to open it up, but um, and then you know, keep the trucks clean, car wash. Looks like there's a restaurant, Italian restaurant across the street, and I'm starving. So, you hungry? <laughs> um, that one says it's 2,500 square foot, and that's available too. So, um, so yeah, now I'll just call the Andrew Pinter and um, see if we can meet him out here like Tuesday to walk it. I mean, it looks like there's people. Like it's still being used. Um, but not a bad location, and I like that they have gates that I can park the trucks around back. Um, so now we know. So that's going to be the end of my day with buoy bowls um, for the most part. I'm going to go spend time with the wife and the kids, maybe go to Brugaloo, maybe meet the camera guy at Brugaloo, um, check out the other food truck, show some love to the other food trucks um, but it's family time now uh, so that is a wrap